Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and I'm going to show you how to create a scatter plot in Tableau. So I'm going to come up to File and I'm going to open what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an Excel file and I'm going to open this one that has to do with life expectancy and obesity. So you'll see I have two variables, life expectancy um, on, in the, on the left, obesity on the right. So I'm going to come down here to Sheet 1, and you'll see I have Life Expectancy, Obesity, and I'm going to put Obesity on my in my column because I think that I've got a negative relationship, and I'm going to put Life Expectancy on the row. The column gives me my x-axis, the y-axis is represented by the rows. <clears throat> And you'll see that I only have one dot and that's because it shows these tableau automatically sums the two so I'm going to come up here to analysis and see where aggregate measures is um, checked I'm going to uncheck that so now I have my individual dots except I need to make one of the two variables a dimension so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take obesity and I'm going to put it, drag it to detail. I'm going to use the down arrow and instead of a measure sum, I'm going to click dimension. All right, now I need to do something about my axis here. So if I go back to my data and I look at life expectancy, all of these are in the 70s and 80s so I need to go into life expectancy because I've got a zero down here right I don't need that so I'm gonna say edit axis and I'm gonna say my range right, is custom and I'm gonna start at 70 and I want my tick marks right right now it gave me a tick interval of 10. I want a tick interval of 2. And I X out. Now, see, we're looking better. I'm going to look at my obesity axis. And I'm going to look at um, my range. Well, no, I didn't have anything in the zeros. I think I started in at 25. So I'm going to go to 20. And I'm going to take my tick marks, instead of making them tens, I'm going to make those twos. So now, right, that's what you're expecting for your scatter plot. So you have to adjust the scale on your horizontal and vertical axis to at least somewhere closely <clears throat> represent your data. Now I'm going to take these shapes, and I don't like these little, you know, circles. So I'm just going to go to shape. And I'm going to pick something that is um, filled in. And I think I'll use these little triangles. Or I can make them dots. Or I can make them little X's. I can make them stars. But I think most of us are used to seeing just a colored in dot. Um, now I'm going to take and I'm going to edit my title. Because sheet 1 is not the title of my um, scatter plot. I'm going to use something that we can see. I'm going to center it and I'm going to say that this is obesity. Whoops. Obesity um, versus life expectancy. <clears throat> and I'm going to hit OK. So now I'm labeled. I have obesity on my horizontal axis life expectancy on my vertical axis. It's showing me um, a fair amount of detail. In other words, my points are actually spread out so that I can begin to see the pattern that clearly um, as obesity rises, <clears throat> life expectancy falls. So I hope that you found this helpful. And as always, I want to thank you for watching.